Hello and welcome to a demo um, of a Lambda deployment pipeline uh, using only the AWS services. Um, so this pipeline is much faster uh, and easier than using a Jenkins pipeline. Uh, so I'm, I'm currently preparing for a um, security conference. So I created this pipeline as part of that. Uh, so let's let's dive into the pipeline, shall we? So how it works is the code is in the Git, and then AWS code build uh, grabs the code from Git, and it gets triggered anytime any changes happen to the repository. And then this AWS code build uh, installs any library that's needed to uh, run the Lambda, and then it zips it up and then puts it into AWS S3 bucket. And um, I put another deployment lambda, which gets triggered anytime any new object is put into the bucket. So basically, once the zip file is put into the S3, uh, this deployment lambda gets triggered, grabs the zip file, and uh, deploys the application lambda uh, into AWS Lambda. Um, so this is this is basically a simple lambda function. Uh, and the build spec file uh, that you need for the code build. Uh, so the Lambda function is very, very um, simple for this demo, uh, but the important part is this library, the Keystone uh, middleware, uh, which is a harmful library if you are using uh, version two or, or, or prior to that. Um, so what you're gonna do is uh, push some changes to it, and uh, this is the code build uh, project. Uh, so let's see um, if we can dive a little deeper into this. Uh, so it says, okay, so this is uh, tied to the GitHub, uh, my personal GitHub repository, and anytime something is changed, it triggers this project, uh, and this is like AWS code build Python 3.5.2, um, and then once it builds, it puts the output as a zip file uh, in this bucket. Right. So, uh, how 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 does this know that what to build, as in what libraries to install? So that's all um, depending on your build spec .yaml file. So if I go back to my GitHub, uh, this is the build spec .yaml file in my GitHub. Uh, so once AWS code build spins up a container. Uh, it's basically creating an environment uh, to run your build command uh, for the libraries that your Python might need. Uh, so this file, uh, as you can see, um, it installs, it runs this pip install keystone middleware uh, version 2.0 uh, in that container. And then I just put a couple of commands uh, to check out the output, uh, present working directory, and then show me all the files and folders. Um, and once once it's installed uh, the libraries I need, it's gonna grab everything and then uh, zip it up and put it up, put it out in the S3 bucket so, um, that we saw, code build output dot zip. And if you see, uh, it's going to this bucket, lambda package, uh, deploy or on. So if we take a look at this uh, S3 bucket, so it is empty currently. There is no function name code deploy output. I'm just I'm just creating the function name same as the uh, zip file name. Uh, so as you can see, there is nothing in there. So what I'm gonna do is uh, gonna trigger the AWS code build run uh, by pushing uh, the changes to Git. Okay, so let's check the git status, right? Uh, all right, I'm gonna push this change to git. To the git, so hopefully um, this thing's getting triggered. Okay, so we can see this is in progress. So let's click this. Oops. Okay. Let's see what this is. Okay. Here we go. Okay. So we can see the submitted. It's so it's 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 detected that uh, there is a change, and now so you can see it spins up a container and it's it's downloading and now it's installing uh, stuff. So we can see. 
Okay, so see, it can, it's, it's running the pip install, um, the keystone middleware 2.0 minus t dot command um, that, that we put it on the build spec.yml. So if I go back, see, this is what it is running. So it's, it's, it's a very powerful, uh, powerful tool. Okay, let me go down. Okay, so it did everything. Uh, it zipped up everything, right? So now what should happen is this S3 bucket, which is supposed to get the output from the code build, should have a zip file with our Lambda uh, and, the, and the Keystone uh, library, right? Which is a bad library. So if I refresh, all right, here we go. And then if I go to the Lambda management, we should, if we refresh, uh, we should see the new Lambda, right? So if I do that, yep, there we go. This lambda got created. Um, everything, everything uh, passed uh, 